Mom. Because I didn't take my coffee cup over there. Over where I'm limiting my sticks here. Alright, we're live. Hey Pam, how are you? Just stopped in and went live to say hello. See how everybody's doing. We're good. Windy as heck here today though. We had gusts up to almost 45 miles an hour. So yeah, it was kind of nuts. Still breezy, but it's um, starting to come down a little bit and by midnight it'll be done. So it's a good thing. How are you? This thing's still updating. Is it? So how was your day? Yeah, I've noticed them on that there's been a lot of storms, even like this morning here, but most of it went up north, came out of where Jan and John live, and then from there it kind of went up north, so we got wind, but we didn't get, we had rain last night heavy, but we didn't get any of the thunderstorms or anything with it. So yeah, we just kind of, as I said, I just kind of came on to say hi to everybody, see if everybody's doing okay. I'm waiting for my update on my computer. Every time you turn around, it's updating, updating, Windows updates. Yeah, you gotta love it, don't you, don't you? Even though I tried to block them, I didn't do that today, and it decided it wants to update. Pam said hi. Hi, Pam. So, yeah, we're doing all right. Hey, Dan, how are you? Dan, I think you mentioned you collect books, correct? Think you told me that? Hey, P. How are you doing? How's the missus? Oh, you're at work. Okay, just be safe. So, yeah, we're doing good. It's just said it's been windy as hell here all day, though. Still is, but not as bad as it was. I mean, we were up to almost like 40. You collect and sell books. Okay. That's all I wanted to know. <coughs> so as you notice, I'm not in my uh, room. Didn't feel like that today. But I haven't done too much today. Oh, are you kidding me, brother? AAP said just in one that just got snowstorm. Are you uh, 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 what? <laughs> You're kidding me, right? April Fool's joke. I saw that. I was talking to mom about that. She had said that. Mom said that that there was storms and one that up that way. So 
so yeah, we're doing like you said, we're doing all right. There's you know, it's Thursday night kind of hanging. Hi, Amber Ann. How are you? Yeah, just it is. Hey, Karen. How are you? How are things in Canada? So said we're doing all right. It's just, that it's just us coming on to say hi to everybody, see how everybody was doing. Yeah, it's snow this afternoon. You just keep that up there, please. Yeah, now it's colder. Um, it was almost 63, 62, 63 degrees um, yesterday, and it's down to like 40-something here. But it's windy. That's why we got the wind. Anybody see John and Jan's um, video there from the other night, uh, Adventures in the Heartland with their, their thunderstorm? That was nuts. He put the rest of it up tonight and I was watching it but I can slow it down on my computer I was like oh dear lord in heaven that was crazy hi everybody how's everybody doing this evening yeah it was nuts I was like oh dear lord in heaven somebody that was live earlier lives in Florida and they said it was about 90 degrees. Cool. Hey, I know that song. Put some drive in your country. Hi, Karen. Everything was up by you. They got snow. Karen got snow? Yeah. Oh, dear. <clears throat> what did you do? Shaking the table. Oh, you're fine. Hi, Lady Bass. Hey, Lady Bass. But anyway, she said it was about 100 degrees or 110 with the humidity, and I was like, I was like, yeah, you can keep that. That's a little too warm. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what I've been doing for the last hour and a half, and you are going to look at me like I'm crazy, but I found a website that has the genome sequence for this virus, right? I ain't never seen anything. I mean, I can't read the whole sequence. I mean, I don't have that kind of education, but I get the gist of it. This this thing is is super deadly. It's like super kryptonite to Superman. Yeah, I agree, Amber Ann. And whoever had 110 with the humidity can keep that. Karen can keep her snow. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it is weird weather, Pamela. Totally nuts. Along hey, with AP, how are things? Did he answer? Is she okay? Yeah, as well as she can be expected. She, <laughs> no, I share. Don't you start that. Well, you can share a lot of things, not the snow. Not that we don't love you, but... Mm -mm -mm -mm. No. No. We don't want it. Yeah, no. Love you, but no. Mm -mm. <clears throat> That's good, Matt. I mean, even here in New York, we've started to level out a little bit. Um, But that's, you know, people are going to get careless. We'll go through a whole second round. You got hey, Matt. Religion in it. How are you, Matt? That's good, AAP. Good, good, good. There we go. How are you, Matt? I wouldn't jump the gun on anything, Matt. 
I had a lady today call me from my doctor's office. Oops, hang on. Got my back to you here. Come on. Good to hear that, Matt. It's the way to go right now, unfortunately. Yeah, we're just keeping an eye on it. Good, Matt. Good to hear. Ugh. <laughs> Amber Ann, cute. Cute, Amber. You're cute. Now, we had dinner tonight. I just kind of watched the movie today, and it's funny because it's from uh, China, and it's uh, overdubbed with English voices, so it's like, we're going to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it. Oh, boy, Karen. That's not bad. No, there's been waiting lines. Yeah, I know. I know you guys know who... Uh, that's what you have to do, That's what Matt. you have to do, Matt. Yep, like Godzilla. Look, Godzilla! This here was a really good movie, though, but it just takes some to get it used to. Like the little boy says, hello, right? You see his mouth go, and then you hear, hello, father. And then you hear, I, I was looking for you in the basement. Too funny. Just too funny. So, yeah, I kind of took a day to myself today. Really didn't do too much. Watched the movie, did some laundry. Yeah, I was the thing. There's a genome product. Oh, yeah. Oh, we got to go. Got to go, Godzilla. Hey, House Dragon. How are you? Yeah, we're safe. Excuse me. Hey, house dragon. <clears throat> That's cool, Karen. Just that we're just taking it easy, one day at a time as it goes. But yeah, the lady called me there today from my doctor's office. She was like, what do you mean? I said, I don't go out. If I do go out, it's like over to where the falls are. And I, well, you guys already saw that video. But, I mean, that's basic. The 30th day of not leaving the house. Yep. Got plenty to do here, believe me. Plenty to do. So You know, it sounds like such a long time, but when you think of it in the grand scheme of things, 30 days, it feels like a lifetime. Really, it's a blip. It's, it's such a blip. Oh, I'm sure, Karen. Really, A.P.? Wow, good for you. Uh-oh, Lady Base, what happened? Uh, that's not good. That's nuts. All right, Dan, love you much. Be safe. Be, be safe. Yes, yes. Just take care of yourself. I mean, we're grateful for my daughter because they said she goes shopping for oh, us. Oh, Lady Base, you okay? Ow! Ooh. Sorry, I didn't mean to. No! Me, but I saw that. I guess you won't be doing thumbs up, eh? You too, Dan. Since end of January. Love you know, much, Dan. Be safe. Take care of yourself. I was listening to our governor, like, over the last couple days. He's on every day with updates and, you know, he's saying, you know, it feels like you've been going through this forever, but like for New York, it's been 39 days, you know. We've had 3,000 people die of this in New York. And it's 7,000. Right. 7,000, 39 days. And what did it come out to? I don't know how much per day, but it's well over twice the number we lost in 9-11. <coughs> That is true, Amber. That's right, Amber Ann. Oh, Lady Base, ouch. Bad Andy! How are ya? Hey, Andy. What's up? 
Just figure I'd come out and say hi to everybody. Just check in, make sure everybody's all right. Make sure everybody's doing okay. Amber, what's your favorite kind of chocolate? My knuckle is bruised and it bled some. What were you doing that you ended up bruising your, your knuckle? On a drill press. What the hell were you drilling? All of it. Yep. Okay, baby girl, that's good to know. Oh, Andy, wonderful. Good, Andy. Wonderful, wonderful. That's great news. Oh, Work. thank God. There's the gypsy and the vanilla gorilla. Hey, guys. Hi, Jeff and Tam. Yeah, I have to say The worst I've ever time. done at a job, I had a, a bandsaw, and we were doing fine work, and I took my finger out of the guard to push it just enough, and I slipped, and I ended up cutting into my finger. Ouch. Hey, Pitbull. Hey, Pitbull. How are you? How are you doing? That's about the worst I've ever done. Everybody's safe? Stepped on nails, but I think everybody's done that. Well, yeah, sure. That's not the good news, Andy. All right, well, we'll just keep an eye on keep that. Keep posted. We'll keep you in prayer. Thing at a time. So, Matt, you going live tomorrow night? I think he's fine. Are you going live tomorrow, Matthew? He said yes. What time? Five central. So be six here. Okay. I will set it. Don't want to miss it. And are you still in, or are you are you home? They're good. Mom and Dad are doing well. Um, Felicia and the kids are doing well. Pitbull, I'm sure. I can't even imagine, especially right now, trying to find some place. You're home. home. Good. All right, Andy, good. Um... Yeah, girls are doing well. Russell's doing well. Did you, is that? Oh, that's on your Facebook page mm -hmm. of, of Eli. Yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, everybody's doing well. We're doing, like you said, everybody's kind of doing their thing here. That's a good thing, Andy. That's a very good thing. Told you if I was there, I wouldn't leave your side either. Just overprotective. That's oh, a good thing, Amber. That's good, Amber. Amber, did you get any of that storm I told you to keep a heads up on? Yeah, that is a good woman, Karen. Absolutely. <laughs> hey, Carl. Good. I saw that the other morning and I was like, yeah, I told Bonnie, you need to leave a message for him. <laughs> I saw your dolls. She showed me pictures. Those things are neat. They are neat and creepy as heck. And you're really talented. I mean, that's how you do all that. I saw that. I was like, yeah, that's just really kind of cool. I like it. That works. No. So what is everybody doing for Easter, gang? Yeah, you can you cannot send them here. I think that would creep me out if it was sitting on my collection on my dresser. Yeah, yeah. But boo boo. What you doing? Yeah, we got a ham too, Carl. I think. I mean, it's just the two of us, so... Not that I don't love you, Amber Ann. I do, all my heart, but no. 
that we're was not doing a big spread. It's just us, so we'll just have the ham and some potatoes and veggie. I didn't get anything really else to go with it. And tomorrow for breakfast, I am making corned beef cakes. You're making what? Corned beef cakes. It's corned not a cake with corned beef in it. Don't look at me like that. Corned beef cakes. And I cake corned beef stuff? Yes. Don't look at me like that. Salty as heck, Bob. <coughs> Mom's making homemade chocolate chip cookies. All right, I'll tell you what. That works for me, lady base. We'll keep six feet apart. You just throw me the bag of chocolate chip cookies. I'll wave. Get back in the truck. Who's making stuff? Did you? Cooking for whatever I have, it may be sandwiches or slot dogs. Uh, Mario. Hey, Mario. How are you? <coughs> yep, Karen. What did she say? She's looking at you like that a lot lately. Yep. Where's the Spam Burgers? At your house. I left them on the porch. Karen, that's what happens when I'm working for, from home. From Although home. that raccoon was looking at me kind of funny. And, and, and we're in the house 24-7 together. That's what happens. A lot of looks. What you doing? Dog got them. More than likely, probably. Oh my, Mario. Or the bear. Yeah, there you go. Or the bear. Or the raccoon. Or buddy. You know, whatever. <laughs> Hello, little man. What's still? Hmm. Okay, come on, come on. Yeah, I get it, Andy. I get it. Buddy ate him. There you go. No, buddy would too. Buddy ate kisses. everything. Stop kissing. Look at the oh, camera. God. Did anybody else ever have a dog that was like obsessed with licking? Yeah, Constant licking, 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 licking. Yeah. Say hi to everybody. Say hi. Okay, you're good. <laughs> He's a handful. Good night, Amber Ann. She leaving. Good night, Amber. Love you. Love you much. Stay safe. He is cute. He's he's bad, but he is cute. He's a handful, Andy. But he uh, licks. He's like this incessant licker. It doesn't have to be your face. Oh yeah, he he's a, he is a whiner. When he looks out the window and he sees another dog or sees somebody walking a dog, he's like, Whoa. Oh, it's heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking. And my daughter comes over and walks him like three times a day, so it's not like he doesn't get out. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know. I just the licking constantly. It does, and it does not have to be your face. He'll lick my leg, he'll come and lick my hand, like, and he won't stop. It's like, ugh. But this is so possible. You should see him at night when we get ready to go to bed, and we have a rug in the, the bedroom. It's an area rug, and he runs, and he just slides on and runs back out, and slides on and runs back out. <laughs> I'm sure, Lady Base, I am sure, I know that for sure, but he would love it, to, love it down there with her. Tell you what, I'll take the jet, I'll parachute Buddy out, make sure there's no wind, but you're going to have to catch him on the way down. Yeah, that's it. I'll put a parachute on him. Can I actually say it's airmail. Ah! Which would be funny. Cops to show up. What did he just drop out of that jet, man? A duck. <laughs> nope, Air Bud. Yeah, right, Mario. Too funny. But yeah, he's a good dog. He's doing well. My daughter is working with him. He is still. 
Please tell me you had a uh, face mask on, Carl, and like your gloves and you washed your hands and everything. Hey, Larry, how are you? Hey, Larry, how are you and Leslie and the kids? You staying safe? I hope. Come on, say hi. Good, Carl. No, I don't want, don't drop that on my foot that it's a heavy bone and I got bare feet. John! Hey, Joyce! John. How are you? Hi, Joyce. How's your day? How you doing? I'm glad Good, to Larry. Hear that, Larry. Anybody want bone? <coughs> no, we're not throwing that thing. It's heavy and hard. Go get your toy. Go get your. Where's your ball? Go find your ball. And it's Bob, Joyce, not host. Bob. Glad to hear that. How you doing, John? John, I slowed down your video today because I can do that with the program I have here. And when I'm watching those lightning strikes, holy crap, dude. Oh, yeah, Matt. Those things, yeah, those, those hurt. These are the Nyla bones, and man, they are hard as, well, they're meant to be, but what? when he gets tossing that thing around, you got a duck. Move your feet real quick. Yeah, that was one heck of a storm, John. I think like I said I slowed it down watching the lightning. I was like, oh, dear Lord. No, don't start or you're going in another room. That was crazy, dude. Yeah, that was nuts, dude. I, You know what? That was great. Hi, Tracy. Um, was looking at that. And even the thing there, I left you a message and whatnot. You caught a what we call a bull cloud bullhorn cloud so what it does is when when it starts getting pulled in from the air it goes like this so it looks like bullhorns i was like oh dude that's just like one in a million shot how's the buddy john bunnies plural where's tracy oh there's tracy hey tracy how you doing, love? How are you and Scott hanging in there? So yeah, we like said we just come on and say hi, guys. We just make sure Stepping everybody's in. okay. Yep. Been worried about my one coworker. Her her dad, who's ninety one, lives up in Connecticut in assisted living. Hey, D. And he got rushed to the hospital today. And How are you, D? It's not good. And uh, Day three is up. All right. I'll watch you later. Thanks. They had um, COVID running through the assisted living facility, unfortunately. So, so you're going to drive that here, right, John? Dear Chili. Ooh, hey, Mike and Tam. How are you? Hey, guys. How are you doing? What is today? You know, it's funny, Tracy, but the other day, I was like, um, we get paid every two weeks, so our time sheets are due to finance by Monday at 10 a.m. So usually I have my staff get them all to me on some, on Friday, and I totally forgot, and then came Monday morning, I'm like, do we get paid this week? I don't even... Oops. And then I had to scramble to get everybody's time sheets, because, of course, I'm doing that virtually. Be and I couldn't even remember the weeks of just blending all together here. It's nuts. Oh. Oh, right. boy, Lady Base. Tommy said I send our love. That's nuts. Pheasant tacos. Who made pheasant? Because I don't eat any of this stuff. No, I, I don't want that either. Venice I know it's smaller. Here, but I don't like it. I don't want your bone. <coughs> Pheasant tacos. But... So I like roadkill. Oh, roadkill cafe. There's people that eat that too. I can't. I don't know. This is what it is, I guess. Well, it absolutely is. Just, I can't. Open it. I got up at 645. Oh my gosh. I don't think anybody else for you, but I just... Here. Go play with Mommy. 
So, Tracy, how's Scott doing? Tracy, want to do some of my schoolwork? I'm behind. <laughs> I'll gladly send it to you after you're bored. <coughs> Got it. As I said, you know, you take them one day at a time. We'll see how far this goes. I was watching Adam the Woo there um, last night. And he... Uh, going in thing he's uh isolating for two weeks too oh no uh that's John, horrible, it's horrible. News, guys Let's keep them in prayer too there's a lot of sick people right now covid and otherwise you're trying to keep up to... It's hard to focus, Tracy. I don't know about you, but it is really hard for me to focus. You know? I mean, I get... I'm working from home, though, so... I'm oh. doing that, you know, all day long, and then to try to focus, my brain is fried. I can't. I have a question for the group here. I have pictures of old cars from a car... Hey, Jessica. Hey, Jessica. Um... From an old car show from last summer. Anybody interested in seeing them, let me know and I'll put them up. Did you put them up before? Yeah, but quite a while ago. Oh, back you're like sure in then. July. Homework, what's that? It's the work you do from home because teachers want to be mean. <laughs> Listen, if I had to actually go to a campus, it wouldn't be happening. You know, I get it, Tracy. I get it. I do. I think the only thing for us, Mom, that is if there is kind of a structure yeah, here. Yeah, there but... is. I mean, I, I like have hey, to Crystal. at 9.30 every morning and, you know, let my boss know what I'm working on. And Where is little Russell with his mom in the new house? Yeah. And nobody comes in here. <laughs> We've seen him out the window. He comes with his mom to walk buddy sometimes, so... He'll get under the window and, you know, yell up to us and... Hi, Grandpa. Miss him, miss him, miss him. And we're missing so much with the new baby who's four months old already. Already. The you big know, thing right? is, and all that stuff, it's just... Is what it is. That stuff's the toughest part of not seeing our grandkids. Well, we see them, but we don't see them. Yeah, I think a lot of people feel that way. Who runs to the fridge more now that oh, you're Oh, Amen. Yep. Although I have to admit, I wait later in the day. Like, when I used to go to work, I'm not a breakfast person. So I would really go, I would take something with me. I'd go to work, we'd have our check-in in the mornings and whatever. I'd get settled and probably about, you know, 10, 30, 11 or so, I'd start getting a little hungry and I'd eat whatever I had. And, you know, so now I feel like I'm waiting longer. Sometimes it's 1, 1, 30, 2 o'clock. But then for the rest of the day, that's it. I want to eat the rest of the day away. Yep. Ow. Buddy, that was my foot. Foot, foot, foot. Listen, we wouldn't have that if we didn't have Felicia run into the store for us. It does. All right, Karen. The funny part of it is, Matt, I don't really eat all that much. Um... I may get up in the morning and I have something when, when I'm checking my weather or I'm checking whatever. You know, so get up and take a shower, get dressed. I'm getting up much later in the mornings. That's the problem. I mean, it's the last night laying in bed. Hey, Scott. I have lots of Doritos. <laughs> Lemon cookies are good. How are you, Scott? Just said we're just, just taking one day at a time. You know, we uh, keep watching our governor and nothing wrong with that, Trace. I actually, when I was in college, I was in college with a lady that was 72. She just liked going to school to learn for the sake of going to learn. Yeah, I was reading um, 
thing that I got a headache. It's about the virus, and it's not a DNA virus. It's an RNA virus, so it's kind of different the way it attacks cells. We had a hundred something new cases. Oh God, Lady Base. So yeah, it's really interesting what this thing can do and how it protects itself. And the reason why it attacks lungs, when your cells are dying, they are programmed to go basically into your bloodstream and into your liver and then out through. What this virus does, it turns off lack of a better word of telling the cells to go what that are dying so it actually ends up flooding your lungs. Not flooding them with liquid. Well, but yeah. Dead it's dead cells and everything else in your lung. That's how it works. Yeah, this is one long article that I had there. Um, that, uh, whatchamacallit there. Unbelievable the way this thing works. That's why I can describe it. It's like super kryptonite to Superman. Hey, Miss Southern Bell. No, it's actually wind. We still have high winds, but not too bad. We had gusts up to about 50, 55 miles an hour today. Nope. And either that or you're here in the falls. One of the two. So, yep. Oh, dear Lord, John. They have 5,943 cases yesterday. They had 606 million, or 6,351 and 43 new deaths. Or a twin brother. Could be his twin. Don't worry about that. It'll be interesting to see once this goes as far as it goes and what the new social norms are going to be. Ugh. What did he say? He or she say, John, if you don't mind saying it. If you don't, that's fine. Here. Please go lay down with you. Go. Go. Nut dog. Yeah, my doctor's calling me tomorrow. I don't know in your state, but here, um, when it comes to opioids and whatnot, stuff like that, they have to do in-house lack of a better word, but they're not seeing people in the office, so they just call me. All right. Good. How's Jan doing? Oh, 0.50 to 1. Okay, I get it. How is Stephen uh, Amber? You got it under the stove, right? Along with the other ones? Under the stove, under the refrigerator. We'll know what I'll be doing tomorrow. Getting Buddy's bones out from underneath the fridge and the stove. Don't go too far back. I can get it. Do you have to, like, put it under the stove there, Buddy? Well, he throws it and slides across the floor. Buddy, come get something else. Where's your tire? Get your tire. Find your tire. I didn't shut the door. Why didn't I shut the door? <clears throat> I don't know why didn't you shut the door. I don't know why I didn't shut the door. So, yeah, we're going to Saturday um, do some Easter eggs for the kids. Yeah, I don't blame you, Amber. At all. <laughs> Sorry, John. 
That's funny. This is a freaking snow deer today. I can't even. Hang on, buddy. Come here. Come here. Hang on, Matt. I'm trying. He's Come here. Busy. Yeah. Sorry, Matt. Just went in behind Bonnie. I'll put a, uh, Matt, I'll put a picture of Buddy up on the Facebook page and you can show your dad. He's a good dog. He's a handful, but he's a good dog. How much snow did you get, John? Thanks, Trace. Yeah, we didn't get to, like the night there, you guys, when I was talking to you, you guys got all the bad storms there. Um... We didn't get, I mean, we got rain, and even like like yesterday or last night, and most of it went up north. I mean, we got rain here, but, you know, not overly. Oh, it didn't stick. Probably in one month, it's too warm now. I know AAP said that they got some snow up in upper Michigan. And I know Karen White Witch said she had snow up there. So, yeah, quiet night. Very quiet night. Yeah, this weather's been weird, John. I, like I said, um, I got to drop out one of my programs on my computer for the... Uh, yeah, here too. Here too. There's 70, almost 60 some out here. But um, yesterday, it's like 40 something now. But I got to drop out one of my programs for my weather for the radar and reboot it. Fruitcake. One of the channels has... Um, all the Star Wars on all the movies. With the Star Trek, yeah. Well, how far under did you throw it? I don't think they're coming. So, so that I watched today, I just took kind of a part of the day off and just watched. Yeah, we have a cold front, or I don't know if it came through or it's coming through tonight. I don't know way. what the temperature is right now. I want to go swimming in the ocean. Me too, in hot weather, though. I don't know. You're the one who got it stuck under there. Oh, cool, Matt. Yeah, winds are still west out of 17. <coughs> What's our temp? Hang on. 44. Oh. Winds are still west. We got us up to 29. Yeah. Slow down a little. And then we have another wind advisory for tomorrow. Tomorrow, a high of 41. Tomorrow, a high of 41. 36 tonight, 31 degrees tomorrow night. And then Easter Sunday, it is uh, 61. And then Sunday night, of course, rain up to 3 a.m. So midway, then a drop, then a quick rise, then hey, you can't keep up with it. No. And you wonder why. Well, the good news is at least you ain't out and getting sick. Yeah, that's true. She had 60s last night, 30s tonight. That's cold. That's a cold front that came through, Amber. Yeah. Can you see it, bud? Come on a few minutes. Cool. I'll <clears throat> That's cool, Matt. 
<laughs> there you go, Scott. Yeah, you're right. Probably right, Matt. You're probably right. I said, give me a minute. All I can do is try. But you gotta wait. What? Oh, I don't know. Yeah. It's under the stove is easier because it doesn't have that lip like under the fridge does. It's just depends how far back it is. That's the problem. <laughs> Buddy! So what else is everybody doing to try to stay occupied? Those of you that are home, anyway. I remember my daughter was playing, uh, what was she playing? Oh my gosh, Monopoly. Monopoly. I would love it, but I don't have patience for two days, two day games. I would have lost it. It's fun. Not with those girls, they're so oh god, they, oh. yeah. They fight through the whole thing. I don't know. I don't know. Anybody still here? Yeah, they're all there. Oh, where are they? I haven't played it in years. Well. Tried to play it with once. That didn't last long. <laughs> All right, Matt. Have a good night. Be safe. See you tomorrow night, Matt. See you tomorrow night, Matt. Read and play Sol I play Solitaire on the computer a lot. It's kind of how I wind myself down. Oh, Scott, yeah, I can imagine. <coughs> That's got to be hard. I don't care even when you're young, though, to run it all day. I don't know. Buddy. I don't know. I mean, I'm lucky. I guess I'm blessed. I can work from home, so I'm not... Uh, Hey Cynthia, good to see you come in. How are you? I um, you know, my day isn't really any different, just how it happens. So I don't have. To oh, I'm sure you are, Scott. To get up That's in the morning and get dressed or anything, I can just like get up and get on the computer. So it's it's a little different, but it still right. takes my time. We're good, Cynthia. We're good. You know, staying in, staying safe. It's 10. Yeah, we got nothing here, Amber, and not yet. Well. What? Although Bob said our lilac bush has some. Yeah. Blooming going on back there, but it's in a horrible spot, so it doesn't really do well. My computer's been weird ever since the updates. Yeah. Does that. It always does that. But that's still good, Amber Ann. It's something to keep you busy. You know? Anybody want to do some trivia? No. Trivia. What? It's only 10 questions. You're still waiting for the groundhogs to come out, yeah. Ha ha. Yeah, I've been there. Crystal, how did you make out with your radio hunt? Too many up here at all. But 
Rabbits. Once in a great while, we'll see maybe one. one across the street, but maybe. It's rare, though. Okay, glad, Crystal. Good, I'm glad, Crystal. What went off today? What was your warning? Oh, okay, Karen, yep, yep. <coughs> Why is this bad? Did you really, Carl? I've I've seen maybe one or two the whole time we're here. And that's it. When I was growing up down in Liberty, right. they were all over the place, but I I don't think I ever Every, saw one in the burr. No, we see one here. Well, remember the day we went to play rodeo with the with the deer. Oh, that came over the radio? Yep. Ours does too. Oh. Okay. I didn't know. But that. not like hers. Yeah, I'm, I really... Ours hasn't gone off, other than the high wind advisory last night. But other than that, it really didn't go off. It's a bunny. Oh, little bunnies. I wouldn't doubt that, Amber. It's also the air is getting cleaner because people aren't driving around in their cars. Well, yeah, not as much anyway. No. Buddy, I will try. There's no guarantee. Kill mommy's knees. Show me where it is, though. Where is it? Where is it? Over in this side. Oh, okay. Hold on, I will do my best. Really, Cynthia. Yeah, it's like I said, it's kind of kind of like quiet up here you know we see a few people walking I mean not today so much because of the wind but you know really isn't much else going on here at all Keep yourself safe, Amber. That's all I care. All right. Anybody want to do a quick game of trivia? Ten questions? Anybody? It's up to you guys. Honey, I can't get it. Go find something else. Where's your tire? Where's your tire? Go get your tire. Okay. Anybody else? One of my neighbors just... I'll wait till Bonnie gets back. I'll tell I'll tell you. A little bit. All right. Peaches like hell yes. How are you, Peaches? So there's only ten questions in this, just for the sake of of saying hi. So this is called Fartastic. Fartastic uh, uh, a quiz. So here we go. Just shout it out if you know the answer. How fast can a fart travel? One mile an hour, five miles an hour, seven miles an hour.
Five or seven. Five, seven, or one. Speed of light. Depends who's. Actually, it's seven miles per hour. You might not be to see the speed of light, but farts are the finest. You can come roaring out, out around seven miles per hour. Superman, they aren't, but impressive nonetheless. Next question. Which of these is not a common side effect of holding in farts too often? Diverticulosis, bad breath, or ulcers? Hopefully it's bad breath. Not a common side effect. Bad breath, ulcers, or diverticulosis? Thanks. Believe it or not, the common side effect that's not is ulcers. Bad breath? You yep. get bad breath yep. from holding in your farts? You can get diverticuli and bad breath ulcers. Oh, you don't. Exactly. Clenching the old sphincter shut might spare those around you, but at what price? Frequently holding in your farts can cause constipation, halitosis, heartburn, and hemorrhoids. Oh, brother. With the unlikely but possible but the development of diverticulosis, punches in the intestines walls can become infected. That's insane. Next question. What happens to farts when you don't release them out in the great wide open? You blow up. <laughs> Sorry. I think you blow up. This is... What happens to farts when they don't release them out in the great wide open? They've been trapped in your intestine. The gas is reabsorbed back into the intestine wall and then mixed with your blood. Or they reverse course through the digestive system until they come back out your mouth. So are they trapped, reabsorbed, or reverse? Scott. Pop. Pop. <coughs> Jennifer, how are you? Miss you too. How you been? You can't have this, but I put some in here. Wow. The answer is the gas is reabsorbed back into your intestine while then mixed with your blood. How much gas does the average pet person pass in one day? If you ask Bonnie, it's about four Depends gallons. Depends if it's Bob. <laughs> Come on. Just saying. How much gas does the average person pass in one day? One liter, ten liters, enough to fill a whoopee cushion. That's funny, Scott. Well, gas prices are down. One liter. Whether you realize or not, most people emit a liter worth of gas per day, roughly 14 toots in a 24-hour cycle. All righty, then. They haven't met Bob. Shut up. <laughs> Just saying. Wow. What types of food causes the smelly of Smelliest farts, soda and chocolate, salad and asparagus, meat and eggs. Hi, Miss Lily. Are you kidding me? You actually got it right. Let me save yourself. 
Scott and White Witch got it right. Meat and eggs. It's food rich in sulfur like meat and eggs. Kale and cabbage are often the culprit for the most offensive farts. Certainly something to think about on your next date. Cool. All right, which of these story flatulent folk tales is actually true? You can light a fart. Farts are painful. Are uh, farts that are painful are a symptom of rectal cancer. Smelling farts are a sign of disease. Oh, uh, Amber. Amber says, boy, this trivia game stinks. <laughs> <laughs> you had your first ice cream. Thanks. Oh, boy. So is it, can you light a fire? Painful symptoms of rectal cancer or, or smelly farts are a sign of disease. John's got it right. It says, if you ever party with the fraternity, excuse me, fraternity boys, you probably already know this to be true. Unbelievable as it means to seem, farts are flammable. Should you test this theory, please keep a fire extinguisher and change your pan, uh, charge, change your pants nearby. Say, I didn't warn you. So what are the main causes of gas buildup and therefore farting? Eating, snoring, and singing. Holding your, uh, is holding your breath to avoid smelling someone else's fart. Or chewing gum, eating, and smoking. Depends on what you ate. Yep, believe it or not, chewing gum, eating, and smoking. Gas buildup occurs when there's too much air makes its way into the colon, which usually happens when people smack their gum with gust or chew food while talking. Smokers are also more prone to passing gas, so kick the habit already. People with this common health ailment are more likely to have especially stinky farts, hypothyroidism, lactose intolerance, or gout. says lighting farts is the number one causes of bushfires. It's the what? Number one cause of bushfires. Of brush fires? Bush fires. Oh <laughs> No, we're not, no. Scott's right, lactose intolerant. It says lactose intolerant people have a tough time digesting dairy, causing it to ferment in the intestines to produce some smelly side effects. Where are you more likely to fart? In an elevator, in a submarine, or on an airplane? I hope not in a submarine. The elevator, submarine, or an airplane? Yes, Amber, and I think that's what it means. Amber wants to know if you fart into your wallet, does that mean you have plenty of gas money? Yes, yes. That's what I was just saying. I'm back, guys. Sorry. 
Anybody else want to take a shot at it? Believe it or not, not in an elevator. What was that? In an elevator. Oh. No. Nope. It's actually on an airplane. What's Air travel is the kind of those whose colons are acting up. Changes in ad attitude coupled with atmospheric pressure can ramp up your intestinal gas file and put you at high risk of farting if you're on the solid ground. I was... <laughs> Hoping it wasn't something. It wouldn't be right such now. a big deal if you could just crack a window. I was going to say, God bless the Navy. <coughs> Who have I missed? I've missed some people. I'm sorry. True or false? Dead people can't fart. True or false? Dead people can fart. True or false? Can, can? fart. Yep. Oh, Amber. Oh, Amber. Amber goes, guy went into an Apple store to fart. Everyone was for, everyone was angry because they didn't have windows. Now, Ken. It says, true or false, dead people can fart. True or false. And Peach has got it right. First one, it says it's true. If as if dead people aren't creepy enough, they can still stun you with a slip of the butt or a two post mortem. Can you imagine? I can't That's imagine. the end of the quiz. I cannot even imagine. Imagine one not go going to hang over. <laughs> oh, doesn't he look real good? <laughs> the Undertaker did a really good job. That's because of the bacteria in the intestines. Well, no, I'm sure there's a like, not specific reason, but... Kind of creepy. Hold off, John. That's just my opinion. You do what you want. It's your channel. So at least I got to do my fart trivia. She didn't yell at me this time. <laughs> I know, it was such a stinker. I don't yell at you, I give you looks. She gives me looks. But I didn't have my fart machine. Actually, there was a movie um, called Last Action Hero didn't do well with Arnold Schwarzenegger and that's where they got the idea of the uh, Leo the Fart Gene G made a machine Joe Blow made it go Art, Art let a fart and blew it all apart there you go Wisdom According to Scott Bartlett <laughs> Grandpa's favorite poem. My father was beans, beans, the musical fruit. The more you eat, the more you toot. The more you toot, the better you feel. So eat your beans every meal. Good oh boy. There we go. Is what it is. So I don't know if you answer me, John. How is Jan doing? Up, buddy. Stay in here, please. Thank you. And by the way, everybody, see, I, I don't need to mention, and you all probably know, but if you go to on the side where the three buttons are, and you used to be able to subscribe to people, 
in the chat, you no longer can do that because either it's an AI glitch or it's YouTube. AI? No, no. Do I go in the laundry room? Okay. Don't say hi. Come on, let's go. Come on. Cynthia, you're, give me your zip code, Cynthia. Yeah, I don't know if that had to do with the grow channels or whatever. I don't do, do not know why or what. I've been looking to see if they put anything in the uh, what you call it there, and I haven't seen anything at all. You know, so I I don't know. I don't no idea. <coughs> really don't. Oh, you were asking about us. Yeah, we're supposed to be cooler here and there for the uh, most part. I mean, we'll be like 60s and 30 at night, you know, for the next couple of days. So, it is what it is. It's 49 degrees right now. 44. And we have another wind advisory until April 10th, which is tomorrow till 6 p.m. Yeah, John, that's that's pretty much what everybody's been doing. Yeah, west winds 15, we gusts up to 40 tonight. Winds will click. Uh, yeah, winds will quickly increase towards sunrise. We gust near 50 during the day Friday. Eastern Catskill, Mohawk Valley, gave capital region. So another windy day. It's like the buck, windy, wind, yeah, windy the poo and the, 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 the adventures of the blustery day. Sorry to hear that, Jan. So yeah, you know, it, it is what it is. I don't know. Like I said, I don't. I don't see anything in um, in my YouTube studio. I mean, I've searched pretty much everything I can think of to search on there. So I don't know if it's a glitch or it's something YouTube decided recently, and they normally say, "Hey, look at this. Is why we did it." Feel better, Jan. You know, don't know. So, yeah, that's like William Tonight and one that stuff. I, uh, when it, that's what people were doing, they were posting their, their channel links. No idea why they did that, for what reason. No idea. There's, there's nothing. No, there's nothing in here. No, nothing at all. So, no idea. I, you know, is what it is. We'll deal with it like we what they did when they switched it over and you needed a thousand subscribers and X amount of watch hours to go live. You know. No idea. Can't figure it out. Love you too, Karen. Have a good night. Good night, Karen. I'll have you say hi. No, I don't want that Stay on safe. my foot. You're welcome, Sam. Stay safe too, Karen, please. So yeah, I don't, like I said, I have no idea why they did it. I have an idea why they did it, but 
you know, you, you, there's just no way of knowing with YouTube. It is what it is. You deal with it. I'm sure, Scott. Here, you want that? Go. All right, guys. Just going to say goodnight. Um, uh, just come on, just to see if everybody was doing well, which I'm glad everybody is. Jan, I hope you feel better. Kentucky bourbon. Absolutely. Anybody seen Karen's story around? I haven't seen her on. Yeah, John, I saw that. All right, John. You're welcome, Jan. Yeah, I saw that, John. You know, I but I don't know why. It's <laughs> been a real gas night, guys. Good night, Amber. Love up, you. Amber. Yeah, I see that stat. Good night, Tracy. Um, how much was that, Scott? Good night, Mike and Tam. Love you guys. Um, so yeah, I don't know why they did it. I, you know what? At this point, I. Stop trying to figure out what YouTube is doing. Well, I just post stuff. That's what I do. Yeah, you work around stuff. That's all you can do you know, right now. That's that's basically what. Good night, everybody. All right, guys. Send in love. Stay safe, please. Have a good night. Take care of yourselves. We'll uh, catch up with you. I'll be on again Saturday night at 8. We'll do some trivia or we'll do something. Careful where you're throwing that thing. Angel MB, $40. Bell Meat, it's three bottle sampler, 99. Love you too. Good night, guys. Take care, guys. Be safe. And we'll uh, see you Saturday. Good night.